it's Rory here at that Eurovision site, and we're still here at Eurovision 2023, and I'm joined by the absolutely stunning Tina Carroll, who is going to be part of the interval act for uh, Eurovision 2023. Lasko, prosimo. Uh, no, dziękuję dużo. Ah, jak sprawy? Wszystko dobrze, dużo przyjemna. Ah, I'm so happy. Thank you know more? Uh, only a tiny little bit. I'm okay, not great. Okay, but, but thank you for that, that you learn Ukrainian a little bit. Ah, dużo dziękuję, dużo dziękuję wam. Oh, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, it's been sort of 2006 since the last time you were on the Eurovision stage, and now you're sort of coming back to Eurovision. What, uh, what memories do you have of your time in Athens? Uh, memories, eh? it uh, was the beginning of the career, and I just started in that time, and I was very scared, and a lot of pressure was like, you represent the country, be the best, come on. <laughs> you have to be the best one. Yeah. Yeah, and that means a lot for me. Um, I, I work very hard, and sometimes was a little bit too, you know, I want to win! <laughs> <laughs> too grotesque, but this is very funny to see that performance now. now. I'm a little bit shy about it, but this is, you know, the feelings. I'm, I'm, I'm like a real person, I have a feelings. So, and now I come back, and we'll see. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. We've seen a little bits of clips you of it. See so. the difference. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You look, it looks stunning already on the TV. So uh, I can already see what it'll be like, like on the stage. Um, and of course, you know, you're here in Liverpool for Eurovision because obviously, because uh, of Kalush winning and then the war that was going on. Obviously, we're hosting it on behalf of Ukraine. Uh, have you been able to sort of look around Liverpool? Uh, like, what do you think of the city's support for Ukraine? Oh, the city is so warm. The people are very smiley. And I feel like uh, I came to a family. A new family is shoulder by shoulder. Uh, we together uh, s um, try to, through the art and music, bring uh, hope, joy, love, uh, and bring a freedom. And uh, for next generation, explain that without Russian shows gone. Yeah, Come on. definitely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, the Liverpool, uh, it's amazing how people support. I'm so grateful about that. So thankful. That means a lot because this is, for me, this is live a spirit, for example. This is like you feel that, okay, you're not alone. You, you fight uh, and you have someone behind your back uh, who watching your back this is very huge and if you support for the whole nation mm -hmm. who watching Eurovision even from the bomb shelter now even from uh, on a military front the troops they watching the Eurovision yeah because you this is how people bring a joy for them yeah yes and they oh, Ukraine, okay I like I like this I like this performer and they watching them yeah this is strong this is um, how we united. This is all about future. Yeah, definitely. And we're so happy to be hosting for Ukraine. You know, th the amazing Ukrainian musicians are I here. I can imagine who can be the best one in that. In the great building, how you host that, how you finding that, not just hosting, you finding for us. This is means a lot. I. Yeah, we wait for you in my home. <laughs> oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And we'll, we'll be so looking forward to coming back, obviously, when the war is finished. Yeah. Um, how, was, how has the war sort of affected you? Because I know that you fled Ukraine at the beginning of the war, didn't uh, you? In the beginning of the war, I have to... Uh, I stand on the uh, informational front. And I lead the marches in uh, each country. And, for example, in uh, London, we have a Mother's March. We take um, uh, a th thousands of people uh, together we, uh, and we go um, on the, in the center of uh, London, uh, the citizens, uh, the refugees, they was all together. And this is how we, s um, march by march, you say a truth about what's going on. I was on, um, let's say, I, I started to be like a uh, culture diplomat with a mission that's called soft power. Mm. Soft power can, can, can make a lot because 
I'm a single mother. I can leave my child and go on a uh, military farm, yes, mm -hmm. because he asked me about that, please. I have just you stay with me, yeah, because I asked him, what do you think about that if I will go to army? Mm. Uh, oh yeah, every Ukrainian think about that because when that happened, when the war happened, y you even ca can imagine how many people say, I want to defend my land. Yes, nobody uh, scared mm. uh, and everybody was very brave and now too. And uh, um, for example, my team, and not just my team, the musicians, the um, journalists, mm. uh, um, but journalists is this is informational front, but for example, musicians, they take uh, weapons and mm. fighting now, who just play, play piano or play on guitar, or dancers, they are fighting now, they are in army. This is such a difficult, can you imagine your friend, for example, somebody, a singer or a dancer, today take a weapon, change a clothes and change a mission yeah it's crazy it's crazy yeah, yeah. and and uh, and live in the uh, front line you, you know front line is very difficult and it's not about fancy thing yeah oh, no really. and this this is uh, and about me yeah uh, I funding the money for the military uh, the woman in military actually a lot mm -hmm. uh, yes for the kids uh, because those people uh, those friends on the war mm, and and actually I live in Kiev but I'm traveling because I have to go and sing or talk about yeah and you're doing a fantastic job so oh obviously no. No, <laughs> honestly you. and also you know we must also say slava ukraini oh no, slava. slava thank you thank you so much yeah. thank you uh, thank and you uh, so yeah and uh, obviously you say you're raising the money and with maybe the foundation Ukrainian, yeah. maybe, maybe a little bit I mean, maybe a tiny bit in it um but yeah you're raising your money through the foundation as yeah. well to sort of help on the front line i mean how do you feel your helping is helping ukraine Oh, it's helped a lot because I have a, my foundation that care about the kids who ill cancer. Uh, it, mm, that year, it's nine years uh, of my foundation. Mm. Yeah, we we give them uh, medicine. We rebuild the uh, medicine centers uh, for them. And uh, in that year, when the war happened, we. Uh, try to bring uh, very important things for the women on the uh, on the front line. This is a warm underwear, for mm. example. But so actually, th they live a life, and they have to be protect not just women. They are warm underwear, boots, right boots, and uh, uh, drones. We buy some drones, but this is so difficult to buy always. We a lot of questions. Yeah. yeah. We buy uh, that, how you call this, uh, from the bullet. Oh, like a vest, like yeah, a bulletproof yeah, yeah, vest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, that one. And and the kids who go in school, for for example, the kids from Azov, mm. you know Azov? Azov yeah. style, yeah. Yeah, they go down Azov style. This is a um, uh, part of uh, Ukrainian army. They called Azov and those kids go to school and so we buy everything for them. Mm. So we, this is, and of course, most important thing, this is how, you, what, do, what do you say about the Ukraine, the truth? It's not, sometimes news um, make a mistake a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes news show just one side, mm. but we can say truly what's going on. I can say, I can show the stories Actually, I do that always on my shows. Uh, I show the people from that region where they lose homes, for example, Mariupol, whatever. Uh, they explain how they live, what they have now, how it was. It's not uh, somebody create a story or take the pieces put together. This is a truly raw story about 
what's going on. Mm. Definitely. And, you know, all of like those those people's hearts are with us as well. So, you know, we're, we're hope, keeping fing our fingers crossed that they can go back to a sort of normal life as well. Fingers crossed. Um, going, going back to Eurovision, just uh, let's sort of make it a bit more thing. Uh, you've been a judge uh, in Vidbeer, you know, in, in yeah. 2019 and 2020 and 2022. And uh, so even after sort of uh, your Eurovision, in Athens, you've still been around. Um, what what brings you back to Eurovision for you? Uh, life, <laughs> <laughs> fate. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm uh, work hard as a professional, and I do my things um, professionally. Maybe my opinion is important, but for me, this is very difficult always to say no or critic, uh, make a critics for the some songs because this is art mm. and how we can say it's not good or it's not good for the Eurovision. This is a part of the feelings of that person. So actually, I don't like to be a judge. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I can protect, I can hug, I can kiss. I, I, I don't, I'm not a rude person. Yeah. I'm, very soft, soft power. <laughs> yes, the soft power is the best thing, definitely, okay. yeah. And um, sort of going on from Eurovision, I mean, have you got any new music coming out? Is this is there sort of anything that's in the pipeline for you in yeah. your music? Yeah, I have just released uh, the song Honey. You can uh, listen to that song on iTunes uh, or whatever, everywhere on the same platforms. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, this is a love ballad song about the feelings, a uh, very romantic song, and... I have a lot of uh, uh, symbolism, symbolism uh, in the song and in the um, uh, music video on Ukrainian language, I cover myself by the blanket. This is, a, I'm walking uh, through the city. Mm. Yeah, and this is a blanket of hope. Yeah, when we feel lonely, when we feel uh, sad, we, we, we need that blanket, you know? It looks yeah. lovely as well, that blanket. I really want it. It looks very comfortable. And, yeah, and, and you feel like you protect. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit about how you protect yourself, what is your dreams, and you cover yourself by your dreams, and you survive. Yeah, the people actually will survive always when they truly believe in the mission, in the future, in the, in the power of, of the uh, of the humans. Yeah, definitely. You know, we all are from the same people anyway. So, you know, yeah. we need to be united in that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one final question. Uh, what would be your message to sort of the Eurovision fans that have followed you since mm -hmm. Eurovision and sort of and as well as people who are going to find out about you as well from because uh, from, you know, your performance as well. What would be your message to those people? My, my message is just please stand with Ukraine, be with us. We really defend the country on uh, different front. Um, if you want to know more, come to Ukraine, visit us, we not hide. You can see how brave people, how beautiful people, and uh, what's going on really, what's happened. Yeah, they try to live a normal life, and for example, uh, not, not so far, I have a cover on the magazine, Elle magazine, and this means that we still make a photo shoot. We still uh, try to, through the war, yeah, we still, uh, even if it's, it's war, we try to mm, bring a beauty. We try to bring a, mm, good things in the world, yeah. And of course, be safe, be um, healthy, and yeah, and listen to music, enjoy the show, be, uh, en enjoy that, because uh, everyone just try to be the best just who you can. Yeah, exactly. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do for us on Saturday. It's going to be fantastic. I mean, I love you anyway, so it's going to be fantastic. So thank you so much. Duja diakuyu. Ich as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.